Hey, we do have an exclusive story this Tuesday morning about a little hero, a story that could have had a much different outcome about a toddler girl who fell in the pool and her four year old big brother who saved her life. It's also a story of awareness for parents of young kids because this could happen to anyone. <laughs> Gray and Andy Forrester are siblings and the best of friends. But just a few days before, a very scary incident when the kids got into the pool area without their mom knowing. Two-year-old Andy jumped in. I was... Right here. She was doggily paddling. I grabbed her tummy. I was trying to lift her. So she could breathe. Who got you out of the pool? Gray. What did he do? Saved me. He, he saved you? Yeah. Do you love your brother? Yeah. Did you tell him thank you? Thank you. Andy walked up and was like, I fought in the pool. I fought in the pool. She was soaking wet. And then I looked at Gray, and he was soaking wet. And I just panicked. I flash forward so many times on how it happened so fast, because they had just been with me not even five minutes ago. Laura Forrester was very careful when they moved into their new house. We installed the safety fence. The kids knew never to go out there without a grown up or a babysitter. We installed beeps on the doors and thought we had taken all the precautions. But just like that, tragedy almost struck. Gray's the hero. I think in that moment for a four year old to be able to react like that, is a God thing. I think that God was with Andy and Gray that day. And that's the only, that's the only thing that makes sense because it was so remarkable. It was this scare that made Laura rush to enroll Andy in swim classes at Swim and Float. Are you ready? Look how fun. It's a six week course. You go Monday through Thursday every day for six weeks for 10 minutes. And by the end of that, they can save themselves. In the beginning, we see tears because their kids upset and crying in the water. At the end, we see tears because it's amazing what they can do. Great job. So good. We checked in on Andy three weeks into classes at Swim and Float on her swim test day. Here, jump in and swim to me. She passed. She was amazing. <laughs> Laura has an important message to other parents. If people hear this story and they live close to the water, um, the lake or a pool or whatever, that they will consider signing up for this class because no matter what precautions you take, it can still happen. <laughs> That is incredible and great information to go along with it. Boy, those swim and float classes are pretty amazing, how they can teach. They taught her to swim in, in three weeks, and they did the swim test without a swimsuit on because yeah. most pool tragedies happen when kids are fully dressed. Right. So she had the diaper on and everything and made it right to the top in a matter of three weeks. She enrolled Andy in those classes, I think, a week after that horrible incident that she'll never forget. All right, for more information on the Swim and Float classes, we are going to post the story on the WBIR app and also WBIR.com so you can find out more.